Well, first, let me say that I have a lot of respect and admiration for Rick Grinnell. Uh, this is a person who is supremely qualified to be the foreign policy spokesman for the Romney campaign. Uh, he did decide uh, for his own reasons uh, that his effectiveness uh, was, was going to be compromised, and he made a decision to resign before he officially started. As far as that conference call that you reference, uh, that was a conference call where we featured our foreign policy advisors. Uh, it was not a call where uh, the staff was encouraged uh, to be speaking with reporters, but where we wanted to put the focus on our foreign policy team. Uh, but let, you know, let me say this about, uh, about Mitt Romney when it comes to hiring. Uh, he strictly looks at the, the qualifications of the applicants. He does not consider extraneous factors like race or ethnicity or sexual orientation. And uh, for people who are curious about his hiring record, they can go back and look at the four years he spent as governor, uh, where, uh, where, where you can see that uh, the hallmark of, of his appointment process was bringing in the best qualified people, irregardless of their sexual orientation hey, or hey, their Eric, race or, or ethnicity. I'm struck by something you just said, though. You said he resigned because he thought his effectiveness had been compromised. Is this having to do with the fact that some social conservatives uh, appeared, to, uh, appeared to publicly be going after him? Well, I don't want to speak for, for Rick, but I will say that, of course, you know, there were voices uh, of intolerance uh, uh, that, that uh, expressed themselves to, during this debate. Uh, that was unfortunate. Uh, Mitt Romney has confronted uh, those voices of intolerance. He did it last October uh, on stage at the Values Voters Summit, uh, where he, he denounced uh, some of the poisonous language uh, that is being used by some of the same people uh, who had uh, criticized Rick Grinnell's appointment. Uh, so he he has a record of uh, taking on uh, intolerant voices uh, within his own party, and uh, it's unfortunate that uh, in this case it, it led to the resignation of uh, a person that we thought was uh, 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 would have been a fine foreign policy spokesman for us. All right, Eric.